pipe birth proposition in Silver Spring, Maryland. We have a sanitary sewer line, four inch cast iron existing coming through this wall. This is a 12 inch wall, retention wall, that services a main sewer line that has a defect from here to another 15 feet upstream inside of a uh, former men's room, now a storage room. So the idea is to bring in about 15 to 20 feet of pipe and lay it in this room. We remove this section of pipe, pop and pop, remove it off the wall. We also have to cut it right there. And then we drill, hammer drill a six inch diameter hole all the way through the wall until we find dirt. Six inch diameter all the way through from end to end. Once we expose the pipe in both of those, or in, in that area right there, we move on to the storage room, former men's room, which I'll take you to. Now mind you, it's a big walk, but it's actually a short run in between the two rooms. And this is where we would have the pooling hole where we put the pipe burst machine. So, excuse me, I'm out of breath. Four inches from this wall, we have the pipe that runs right around here. So we're to open up a hole approximately three feet wide by around 10 feet long, expose the pipe. And what we do is we put the bursting machine in here and obviously we're not gonna be able to pull it just right. so. We actually have to deviate the pipe into this hole. Once we pull into this hole, this pipe, instead of running straight, is actually going to have somewhat of an angle. And what we do is we connect PVC, run it all the way up until we reconnect to cast iron. Then we install a two way clean out that allows you to go this way and that way, properly bed and gravel, backfill tamp, concrete. And then on the other side, sleeve our new pipe and hydraulic concrete the hole. And that will complete this, uh, this pipe burst. Now mind you, there's probably going to be a belly in the new pipe once we're done. Because there's a belly right now. But at least the pipe will be fixed. That's what we got.